If you've watched videos on how to fix lag and you've done it, but you're still lagging, it might just be that your C drive is full. And in this video, I've gathered the top ways to clear up space on your C drive that will significantly reduce lag. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up Run. To do that, just hit Windows and Q and search up Run, or you can right click on the Start button and click on Run. Over here, you want to type in Prefetch. Everything I'm going to type here for the next couple couple of minutes will be in the description down below so you can just copy and paste it in but anyways click on ok and it should open up this file now in here my one's a bit empty because i've recently deleted it but you want to remove every single file in here now don't worry your pc won't break so just click on it and Control a to select everything then click on delete and folder is empty now we want to open up run again and this time we want to type in temp and again you want to select every single file in here click on delete, check do this for all current items, and click on continue. Some of the files might not be able to be deleted because maybe your app is using it, so just delete them another time when you don't have any apps open. Now coming back to run, you want to add percentage marks to each side of the temp, and click on ok again. As always, select every files in here, right click, delete, and as you can see, I just deleted over a gigabyte worth of files. Now that we're done with deleting our cache, head over to the file explorer and go to this PC, then click on Windows C drive. For some users, you'll find the windows.old folder. What this is, is basically a backup folder that Windows creates when you upgrade to a better Windows system. So for example, Windows 10 to 11. What this is used for is when you want to revert back to an older system because let's say you hate how Windows 11 looks you will need this to get back to Windows 10. So unless you are certain you're not gonna downgrade, you might wanna just delete this. Click continue, and there you go. And just like that, we have just deleted over 45 gigabytes worth of files just by deleting this one folder. Next thing you want to do is right click on your C drive and click on properties, then click on tools, and you want to click on optimize. Over here, make sure you've selected the Windows C drive, and then click on the optimize button. It's also recommended to turn on scheduled optimization, so just come down here and click on turn on, check this box and set it to weekly, then click OK. Now come back to this PC, click on the Windows C drive, click on Windows, and scroll down until you see software distribution. Click on it, and you want to delete everything in here. For this next step, you're gonna open up Run Again, and over here you're gonna type in percentage app data percentage. In the app data folder, you wanna find the local folder, click on it, and you wanna scroll down until you find NVIDIA. For AMD GPUs, you wanna right click on your background, and where the NVIDIA control panel is, you'll see your own AMD software. Once you're in the AMD software, you want to click on Gaming, Graphics, scroll down until you find Reset Shader Cache, and then you want to perform a reset. For NVIDIA, after you click on the NVIDIA folder, you want to click on GL Cache and delete whatever's in here. Now once you do delete all of the cache from both AMD and Nvidia, your game will stutter a bit for the first like couple 10 to 20 minutes, but it'll run smoothly after that, so just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna search up disk cleanup. Once you see this, select your C drive and then click OK. Now once you're in here, you want to check everything that you want to delete, including your recycle bin. As you can see, there's over 2 gigabytes worth of files in here. And then you want to click on OK. Click delete all files. And now you have to wait for this to clean up. For this next step, you want to open up Windows settings, then click on apps. And over here, you want to sort by size. And as you can see, it lists all of the apps that you have downloaded by the size. For me, Photoshop is one of the apps that has the biggest file size, so I will consider deleting this, but I most likely won't. The next step is basically just tips on how to find large files in your folders. So simply just come over to your local disk and click on search this PC, and you want to type in size colon gigantic to start us off. So gigantic will only show files that are over the size of 4GB, so as you can see, Windows have found 
around 9 files here that exceed 4 gigabytes. If you don't have any files that exceed 4 gigabytes, you can also type size colon huge, and this will also show files that are from 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes. As you can see, there are much more files that exceed 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes than gigantic. Coming back to Windows settings, we want to click on Systems this time and locate Storage. Over here, Windows categorizes all of the videos, other temporary files, documents into how many gigabytes they have. And as you can see, my temporary files have over 70 gigabytes. So I'm going to click on that and it's currently scanning, so we're going to wait a bit. And as you can see here, my previous Windows installation wasn't deleted completely and I wouldn't have known it if I didn't check here. So I'm going to check that and not check downloads because I do keep some of my sound effects and other musics there. So unless you don't have anything in your downloads folder, you might want to uncheck that. So now we click remove files and wait for it to purge. So as you can see here, everything that we have done so far has freed around 100 gigabytes for me. So if this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out some of my other videos on the channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye guys.